Hello everyone, my name is Tenzing Desu. I study in class 6A of Delhi Public School, Dimapur, Nagaland. Today I'll be talking to you about the basic geometrical ideas chapter 4 of the maths, in maths book. So exactly, people think that does a geometry has a meaning? Yeah, it has a meaning and also has a, another word. So exactly, geometry has a, another word called geometron. It's an English equivalent in the Greek word called geometron, and the geo means the earth, and the metro means the measurement. And we have sometimes we have idea about the various shapes surrounding us. So examples can be like a book. It has a shape of a rectangle, and it's used for writing notes. Students take this in school and write notes in notes here and also some other people's too. And the next easy example can also be a scale. I think. Most of the people of the world, roads use scale to measure the objects and sizes. Next thing is that we learn the importance of geometry in our daily, daily life too. And yeah, and according to the history, the geometrical ideas were shaped up in ancient times. But now, it also helps us to measure the perimeter and the area of our room. So exactly, we can also find the perimeter of this room and garden, agriculture and this table too where I'm working here and also this book. Amazing, right? So now let us talk about the point. So guys, the next thing we are going to talk about is the point. So guys, the next thing we are going to talk about is the point. So consider a point also a dot. So this is a dot. I'll show you. Here is one of the dot with the tip of the pencil and one dot right here in the tip of the pen so we can say it like the dot or a point represented by the sharp tip of the pen of a pencil is called a point or by the sharp tip of the pencil we can draw the dot or the point on the paper or else sharper tip of the pen in a book so this is the point so now let us talk about the way so guys, the next thing we are going to talk about is the ray. So now I'm going to explain you about the ray. A ray is a portion of a line. It starts at one point and goes and the same direction. And it's also represented by this arrow. You can see this arrow. It starts there's a mark of an arrow like this. It tells that it goes endlessly. So example, we have a a line here and if we just mark and one arrow and it change into ray so the line so we can also tell a ray like a ray is a portion of a line it start at one point called the starting point and or initial point it's it is known as the starting point or also an initial point and it goes endlessly in any direction so the example i can tell you is a torch so I'll show you the ray of the torch. Let us first uh, learn of the lights. So guys, see you can see the ray of the torch like this. It's yeah, it's true that it goes from one direction and it goes endlessly. You can see the light. It goes in one side and it goes endlessly. This is the ray. Now let us talk about the line segment. So guys, now we are going to talk about the line segment. So guys, now we will talk about the line segment. So first, the thing we need to do is first we need to draw a line. So guys, after drawing a line, we can name its two points S, A and B. So yeah, we have here a line segment. A line segment has a starting and an end point too, and it is made up of thousands and thousands and infinity of dots. So the example I'll show you. See guys, the example can be like dot dot dot. So guys, uh, if we make a dot 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 dot, we can also make a line segment or any other thing. See. This line has so many dots, like numerous and numerous of dots, which make up a line segment. Okay. Now, if you are talking about the examples of the line segment, there are so many. So, some examples I can tell you as a thread. This is just a thread, and if you just fold it like this, it can become a line segment. It has starting and ending point too. 
So another thing and also happen like this a scale it is starting and an end point. Books, papers and everything. Now let us talk about the line. So guys the next thing we are going to see about is the line. So guys when we talk about a line or line segment it can have the same definition type but it has one different thing I'll show you that. So guys as I was telling you that a line and a line segment is type of exact thing but one thing is different that you can see that a line segment has a starting and an ending too. A way has a starting but no ending. Same thing in line it has no starting and no ending. So a line can never be stopped. A line a line extends indefinitely in both direction or the both and in a terminal of the line is represented by the two arrows. So these two arrows. So when if we are we can name it as A B and we can also write A B and this. So guys now we are going to talk about the intersecting points. So guys now we are going to talk about the intersect intersecting points. Sorry, I mean the intersecting lines. So as intersecting lines means that it would be intersect. So example, it can be an X. These are not intersecting now, but it can intersect now. Example, if we take A, B, C, D, and we can name it as A, B, C, D, and in the middle also we can write the num we can write the letter O. And if and if A, B, and C, D has one common point, that are called intersecting lines example a b is here c d is here and if o is here and it says it says that it has one common point called one common point that is called the intersecting line it's only one common intersecting it has only one intersecting point so this too does not intersect with this but when it came to the middle it intersects so now let us talk about the parallel lines so guys now we will be talking about the parallel lines so guys, parallel lines are the lines which doesn't intersect on the example in this table. This line goes here and that line goes there, but it does it never intersect with each other. Example, you can take as the uh, tracks of the rebel tracks. They are like this. They does not. They never intersect like this. They always go in this way. So in examples, I can show you that. So guys, this is the parallel lines examples. It goes like this, but it never intersects. You will think that it does. is this also a parallel line? Yes, it's a parallel line. See? But it doesn't intersect. So these are called the parallel lines. So guys, now we will talk about this simple curve. A simple curve is a making or a drawing of a thread line structure without lifting our hands. So the examples can be, I'll show you. So you can see the example are if we start it from here, we need to not lift our hand and we need to make a simple curve. So we can put the endpoints like this and name it A B. And yeah, this is a simple curve. And also when we will draw this structure like this, and it has also the two points. So the starting point is also known as starting or intersecting point and the Last ending point is also known as ending or terminal points and in also in simple curve it has two types one is open and closed curve so the open first is the open curve the open curve means the curve which has a different starting and a ending point so the examples I'll show you this open curve is same as the simple curve also we need to not leave our hands so these are the open curve. It has starting and ending, starting and ending. Now let us talk about the closed curve and this is that will be the last part of. So guys, the closed curve and the last topic of this video is the closed curve or the curve which have the same initial and terminal points without lifting our hands. So I'll show you here. We need to not lift our hands so that I'm drawing like this so I'm not lifting even my one of the hand So we can draw it like we can also draw it like this yeah. So this was the last topic of our video. Bye bye. See you next time